Today, we're going to talk about and Ray, Urusai Yatsura 2022, Episode 8. Yeah, you should be you should be happy, guys. Now, for the rest of you, keep on watching. May magandang dahilan ng mga, ang mga fans ng Urusai Yatsura kung bakit sila nagchichir kanina. A new, yeah, a new lead character is reintroduced here. Pero, gano'n pa rin yung format nila two stories. So, first order business, the thumbnail. This thumbnail show just goes to show you how, how spiteful Ron is to love. Alright? To the point na gagawa siya ng clone ni Ataro at i-switchin and she's going to do the um, she's going to do uh, the switcheroo sana pero obviously super bright up run niya the stress outlook on is on her face alright that's uh, that's priceless okay so kumbaga uh, well to tell you frankly guys I am not totally familiar with this character of Urusai ang talagang familiar ko niya si Lam si Ataru si Bendo si Kurama alright very familiar with Kurama. With that in mind, let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode. This two story format. So, well, uh, unlike in the Kurama episode where it's just one, it's just one, uh, it's just one story, dito dalawa. So the pacing is, yup, a little bit fast. Dahil, but, I don't know, ah, kasi parang, uh, I feel that something's off. Okay? Uh, do I have complaints? A bit. Kasi, in the Corona episode, which was episode, um, yeah, episode 4, tuloy tuloy eh. Talagang, Corona was properly introduced in that episode. Pero dito, kagad, dalawang dalawang uh, dalawang kumaga technically dalawang best na nagkasik ng laging si si Ran dito she really wants to um she really wants to uh to get back at Lam generally for for well, overall I got uh I got no actual complaints about the pacing of this episode natural lang kasi two story format pero sana ginawa nilang pang ano pang one story yung pacing uh, they should have taken a page out of Comic and Communicate's playbook. Parang ganun yun eh. Kumbaga, um, seamless yung transition between between the uh, between multiple stories that you can easily pass off as one. Kasi isang continuity lang talaga yung sinundan. Yun lang, yun lang, ano, yun lang ang, ang uh, na-observe ko in this episode. They should have, um, they should have found some way to um to to make the trans to make the transition even better. Ano para yung uh, yung yung fast pacing. Well, it is not fast pacing, right? Because it is a comedy act. It is a comedy anime after all. Yeah, hindi mo mawala yon. So pero mas maganda sana kung mas feel ng mas feel ko sana kung ginawa nilang kung ginawa nilang maganda yung transition so enough about enough about the pacing now true naman now the biggest gear shift of the first story is when uh well Ran blatantly told Lam told it to Lam space na bebuentaan niya si Lam right that gear shit in itself will instantly identify her as one of the villains of Urusai Yatsura. Kasi talagang she lives and breeds revenge against Lum. The, the biggest gear shift of the second story was when Ataru met his clone. Siyempre, siyempre, magtataka kay sino eh. Uy, sino ka? Ba't ka mukha kita? For me, that's a gear shift, guys. Kasi, yeah, no matter how dense Ataru, Ataru is, I think he's, prob 
Yan! Yan ang gets the idea na talagang na gusto siyang na gusto siyang gawing kasangkapan ni ni Van para makaganti kay Lam. Well, Leono Ataru, all in good. Umira, umiira pa. Yung, yung, kumaga yung, ah, uh, yung manyaki scope <laughs> ni Ataru, it's always on 24-7. Alright? So, right here, uh, he, he showed a bit of that. But, it was actually the gearship that saved, that saved his life. Okay? <laughs> With, in all his stupidity. Okay? So, for me, it's a gearship. If you've seen, uh, if you've already seen the episode and you and if you saw a scene here or a sequence that uh, the captain deemed as a gearship, let me know, guys. All right? There's the comment section. So these two gearships that I saw, uh, if there's anything definite about this episode, it's this. Run is here to stay and she wants to make Lum's life a living hell. Pero, I'm warning you, hindi nyo ko maintindihan ang buong episode kapag itong dalawang gearship lang ito na ang, ang napanood nyo. Ito lang. No. Don't, um, don't be lazy, guys. Watch the entire episode. Watch both stories. Okay? Although na hindi ako agree sa kumbaga sa pagkakaroon ng na ginamang two stories ito yung pagkaka-introduce kay Ran uh, it's still hilarious <laughs> it was still hilarious plot wise of course planchado ang plot guys ano naman sabihin mo malinis e halata namang may, may heartbreak between the stories so talagang po oh. I gotta give it to, give, to David Production for giving us a well ironed out plot for this episode. Pero! Uh, they could have done more with the transitioning. Okay? David could have done more with the transitioning. Kumaga! Alright. Plan A failed. Then, uh, after, the, after the commercial break, Benjo! Siguro na contemplate mo na si Ran kung anong next move niya. Sana pinakita mo na yun. Okay? Para magkaroon naman ng smooth, magkaroon naman ng smooth transition between the stories. Wala, heartbreak eh. Right? No, uh, no unang, yung, sa unang uro sa Yasura, this is fine. Kasi during those times, people didn't give a shit if, uh, if, it, had, if it had smooth transitions or nothing. Masa nakatawa sila. <laughs> Okay. The bottom line, it's a well ironed out plot. So, base flow and plot. Yeah, they all came together, folks. They all came together for this episode. Pero, um, David Productions should have done more with the transitioning. Okay. And I really felt na talaga dapat ginawa nilang ano to eh. Ginawa nila dapat na isang story lang. Na, well, with, a, with a smooth transition. Kasi they're a duo. They're trying, they're, they're introducing a, um, yeah, uh, a lead character here. Kung baka talagang, talagang kontrabida ang dating niya. Uh, she, he, she really wants to make uh, Lum's life a living hell by constantly stealing Ataro from her. Alam na natin lang ang pagkamanyakis ng muho na to. Kahit sino mabayo, wag lang si Lum. <laughs> But anyway, uh, all, all three elements simply came together. That's the bottom line. So, Urusei Yatsura 2022, episode 8. Yeah, forgivable. Two dogs Sa akin, uh, sa akin, it's a... Uh, it's a it's a flaw, pero if you if I want to carry it uh, longer, malita bagay lang eh. That's why I still give it the two thumbs up, guys. Okay. I couldn't deny the fact that it was a really hilarious episode. All right, e binun yung ba naman yung villain dalawang beses sumablay 
with hilarious results, okay? <laughs> with, with really hilarious results. So, you can't reach that fact. As an anime critic, you gotta be, um, you, you gotta be true to your audience, okay? Uh, that's being impartial, guys. That's being impartial. So, what do we do now? Of course, wait for the next episode. But in the meantime, guys, what's the next review?